All right, let's have some real talk about those wannabe gangsters on YouTube. You know who I'm talking about. The ones that throw up signs, talk big and flex in front of their phones, thinking they're invincible because they're a couple of likes away from the internet fame. But here's the thing. They're all talk. And half the time, they don't even realize they're putting themselves and their families in danger. Like, imagine posting up, talking about who did what to who, and thinking the feds are just going to scroll past that? Newsflash. The authorities are on that internet, too. They got Wi-Fi, people. They're watching you flex, logging every word like, oh, yes, that's a confession. Meanwhile, this dude's over here like, yo, my followers need to know I'm about it. I'm about it, about it. No, man, your followers need to know you're going to be taking a mugshot if you keep talking like that. But what's crazy is they're ignoring the real opportunities we have today. We're in the age of technology and information. We've all got a supercomputer, you know, in your hand and you're using it to talk about beasts from middle school. This is a tool that can make you rich, smart, or both. But nah, you'd rather use it to live stream some gangster rant while your mom is calling you from the other room for dinner. Man, oh man. Instead of wasting time talking about who runs what street, how about showing these kids the real hustle? Teach them something valuable, like, I don't know, stocks, you know, compound interest. It's that thing... You could have learned about instead of watching Scarface for the 50th time. Stocks are like, you know, if you put a little in now, it'll grow. Patience will pay off. Meanwhile, these wannabe thugs think hustle is just a buzzword for moving fast and getting attention. It's not. It's about building up over time, letting your money work as hard as you do. Or let's talk about precious metals. Gold, silver, stuff that's actually worth something. You see, all these guys wearing fake chains. And I'm like, bro, you could have actually bought a piece of gold and hold it. And it'll be worth something. But nah, they'd rather show off that plated piece of camera. Pretending it's real. Meanwhile, some kid watching is thinking, wow, that's the life. Nah, it's not. The life is knowing how to make money work for you. So you don't have to keep flashing things to feel important. And what about finding your talent? Everyone has something they're good at. But instead of discovering that, you're too busy on the internet talking about prison rules. Prison? Really? Why are we making that the ultimate experience? You know who actually lives by prison rules? People in prison. And I guarantee they're not in there like, yo, make sure you tell the world about this glorious life. They're probably in there telling people to stay out and make something of themselves. Guaranteed. So let's be real. If you want to act tough, do it for real. Go tell an actual gangster how you feel. But I bet you won't because deep down, these keyboard warriors are not as tough as they claim. They know the internet is a safe playground, but they're playing a dangerous game. The thing is, this isn't helping anyone, especially the youth, who might actually believe this stuff. How about we use these platforms for what they're worth? Show the youth how to succeed without putting themselves in harm's way. How to find out what they're passionate about and dive in. Show them the world's options, education, entrepreneurship, investing. Imagine if every so-called gangster channel started talking about how to succeed legally and financially. That's power, real power. So next time you see one of these wannabe flexing online, ask yourself, are they adding anything valuable? Or are they just clout chasing and risking it all for the wrong kind of fame? The internet has enough gangsters. What it needs is leaders, real leaders, who can guide the youth to a brighter future. So with that, hit that like and subscribe button, man. Get the sudden algorithm. Help those children. Help those teens. Help the young men coming up generation. Help those women, young women coming up. 
you know, real wild.